Recently, I received the One UI 4.1 update for my Samsung S20 FE mobile. In this video, I'm detailly telling what are the new features they added in this update. In case if you are using the Samsung S20 FE, go to settings and search for the software updates. Maybe you will also already received the update. And come to the first, the file size of this update is 1242 MB. So many people think it is having 1242 MB of update pack, which means that it is having so many good features added. But wait, 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 guys. There are some features that they haven't added. First of all, I will make you clarity that there would be no, no noticeable changes you can observe in this 4.1 update. The only thing I noticed in this update is the security patch is updated to March. And also in recent times, I also noticed that the Samsung is lately pushing the update for Samsung S20 FE. So in this video, let's find out what are the new features added and what would be the changes from One UI 4.0 to One UI 4.1, especially in this S20 FE. Let's get into the video. Coming to the new features added in the gallery is first is they added the new portrait effects for the editing. So if you in case you are editing the any of the photo, you will see some good portrait effects, which is a good thing but if in case you are not only using the editing software like the samsung inbuilt one this won't make a big change for you and second thing is you can also relight the portrait photos it is like increasing or decreasing the exposure of that particular photo and also even you can convert the motion pictures into still image which is like if your photo is like in like motion you can actually compress and you can actually pixelate them equally so that the picture won't be in like blurry or motion so that the picture will come to like a standard picture it's like a kind of something editing work but it gonna happen all at the background and next thing i really loved this one and i'm curiously waiting for this one is you can share your albums as a links for a particular person in different of apps this is pretty good one you don't need to select one by one photo if you group any photos together like the outdoor photos or like the family photos or like your personal photos or some ex-person photos you can make it as album and directly you can share that album to that particular person or any of the person in social media apps and finally you can also create the time-lapse videos of course it is available in previous also but they telling like they improved the things Initially, while getting the Samsung mobile, I started using the AR emoji and later on, later on, now I'm not at all using the AR emoji stickers or AR emoji app. After some months, I uninstalled the apps. Close to one year, I'm using this mobile, so I'm not at all using completely now the AR emoji stickers and AR emoji app. But there are some new features they added in AR emoji. Coming to the two features they added in, first one is the more decorations for emoji stickers they added. If you are using the Samsung keyboard, you already know the emoji stickers stickers and how you can also send it many of the people are sticker to the google keyboard which is like very handy and you can use it across all types of devices because you are having the gmail and second one is background colors you can also change in mask mode i don't know personally what is mask mode but this is the update they mentioned so that is why i'm telling If in case you are using the Samsung smart watches or fitness bands from the Samsung, you already know the Samsung Health app is also available in Samsung mobile, particularly for the Samsung. In Samsung Health, they enhanced the exercise tracking. If you are doing like different types of exercise like running, jogging or doing some activity based work, precision they improved. And second thing is build better sleep habits. Nowadays, people are like totally, totally addicted to the technology products. They are not at all caring about their body, what they are actually, they are not giving time to their body. Some of the improvements they made it is like first one is smart switch which personally I do not using this feature guys and second thing is smart things find of course this is also no, I'm not at all using but they improved the features third one is sharing coming to the sharing the enhancement like the improvement in Wi-Fi network sharing and you can share the tips of the Samsung like settings or anything with others but no one to send these type of features and third one is uh, includes the editing history while sharing for example if you share like a photo or a video to another person like the Samsung user on the other side he can track what are the edits you've done before even he can re-edit the photo what the actual or original one looks like so this is also a pretty good feature and come to the more improvements they added is first is color palette so this is also already available but they improved 
little bit color palette is nothing but if you select any wallpaper for home screen or lock screen you can actually change the colors of the icons like the background color and also the notification drawer color so it is very good feature and it's already available in oneplus devices if you recall it back in oxygen voice and second one is added emoji to calendar i'm not all using the samsung calendar and next is customized sound balance i personally don't balance the sound i think 90 percent like not 90 it's 95 percent of the users won't customize the sounds each and every time just they plug the earphones and they listen the songs or they watch the movies that's all they don't tweak the changes and do the stuff and come to the next improvement is new actions for bixby routines again i'm using the google assistant not bixby just comment below whether you are using the bixby or google voice assistant i think 99 percent of the users use the google assistant only i think bixby is not that much famous so 95 percent of the users use google assistance instead of bixby and final thing is game optimization service so this is also a pretty good thing but i don't know what they optimized the gaming service see samsung the updates you are giving is like okay but you have to provide the updates like the user what they wanted not like you wanted see the users won't use this samsung health like majority of the users ar john samsung health and smart switch and even they given some emojis to calendar and sound balancing customization and and also i found one thing smart things especially so the people like 95 percent of the users won't use these features instead of that if you improve the battery health or like improve the camera photo quality after like the processing the image or even if you improve the video quality also it's pretty good i recently shot one of the vlog which is near to my place the video quality is pretty good in proper lighting conditions even though it is daytime but if you go for like some little low not like completely dark situations if you go for like little 10 to 15 percent than the normal lighting the so much of noise it is capturing i don't know what's wrong with the samsung please you have to improve the camera performance in s20 fe many of the people are purchasing the samsung s20 fe main reason is first is gaming and second reason is camera and i also recommended for so many of the people's the camera quality is good when it comes to the photos it is good i'm not at all having any complaints about it but when it comes to the video it is having so many drawbacks if you want you can personally uh, mail to me i will detailly tell what are the problems I face it in this Samsung S20 FE. So that's all about the One UI 4.1 update in Samsung S20 FE guys. I hope this video would make a sense and would give some what information about this update. If you are not able to receive the update, just wait for some time. It is a OTA update. It's like based on build number, they will provide the update. In between one week or two weeks, you will also receive this update. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Rod Shaker and also like this video and share to your friends and family members if anybody interested in this type of videos and also subscribe to Tech Bunny for more more interesting tech videos catch you in the next one wait 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 and also given the links of amazon and flipkart in the description box if you're really interested to make this video happen and like in upcoming videos also make that happen just click the link and start purchasing the products whatever you like in those two websites like the flipkart or amazon mostly amazon is giving the affiliate money so that it will help to the channel upgrade too that's all about the video guys i hope sorry again i'm repeating take care bye bye